Here's a story we haven't done in some time. Consumers have taken a greater interest in how their food is grown and arrives on their table. But recently, the national discussion has joined the existing debate on pain management in animals being raised for food. Colleen Bradford Krantz has more. This Kansas cat is about to be spayed. This Iowa piglet is about to be castrated. One will be given medicine for pain, one will not. While pain medications labeled for use in livestock are almost non-existent, companion animals like Annabelle in Atchison, Kansas, go through most medical procedures with the help of short and long-term painkillers. Within our small animal pharmacy, we essentially have two shelves full of different pain medications that, that we can use. In cattle, the only labeled product that is out there for pain or analgesia is banamine transdermal, and the only labeled is for foot rot. In recent years, however, veterinarians, college professors, and livestock industry leaders have begun working to overcome the barriers that led to the lack of livestock pain medications. Growing up anyway, on-farm pain man management, I don't think was really anything anybody thought about. Um, you know, if something was suffering really bad, then it just came down to, you know, maybe we need to end that animal suffering. Getting the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to approve painkillers for livestock, however, has been more complex than with non-food animals because of the rules designed to keep drug residue out of meat. In the past, veterinarians who wanted to ease pain in hogs, cattle, and other livestock were left with little choice but to use a drug in an extra-label or off-label manner. The responsibility landed on the veterinarian to ensure the drug didn't end up in the food supply. Everyone wants to use it, but we need to have the research done so that we use it correctly. Now that research is being done. The FDA has joined industry leaders in studying new options for livestock pain management. But approval of any drugs for livestock usually requires proof of pain and subsequent easing of pain with the medication's use. Banamine transdermal, the medication approved for foot rot, a painful condition in cattle, gained FDA approval in 2017, becoming the first officially approved painkiller in the U.S. for a food animal. Kansas State University participated in the research that helped gain that approval. The team has continued looking for a consistent way to prove when an animal is in pain. So obviously it's difficult uh, to assess pain in an animal because they can't talk and, and tell us how much pain they're in. So we have to uh, rely on biomarkers of either behavior or the physiology of the animal. It's been difficult for us to try to assess uh, behavioral changes um, objectively and to try to come up with a scoring system. Research teams look for indicators of stress in the blood, such as cortisol, but it can disappear too rapidly to consistently measure. A second indicator of pain is skin temperature. Pain prompts a fight-or-flight response, which means blood is pulled toward the body's core. This Kansas State University thermal imaging video of a steer as it is being castrated illustrates the instant change in skin temperature. Some early work is also being done with facial recognition in hogs and other species. A program looks for changes in expression that might hint at an animal's suffering. Another test that shows particular promise uses a pressure mat to measure changes in an animal's stride length and weight placement. So looking at the, the way the animals change the distribution of weight uh, on their feet uh, has actually been something that we can measure quite accurately uh, in addition to looking at differences in their stride lengths. The National Pork Board is working with these university researchers and the FDA to pave the way for a pain medication for hogs in particular. This may become particularly important considering a few other nations have banned practices such as piglet castration. Castration of pigs is, is a global conversation, um, not only here in the U.S., but there's a lot of discussion in the EU, um, in Australia, in New Zealand. 
Hogs are castrated because the meat, when cooked, emits an odor known as boar taint, which surveys show 80% of the population find offensive. We know that the procedure um, is a painful procedure for piglets, uh, but what we focus on is looking at ways that we can either replace the procedure, refine the procedure, or reduce the pain. Piglet castration has been refined some over the years. The surgery now typically takes place when the piglet is three to five days old. This timing seems to allow the piglets to bounce back most rapidly, particularly if they are still with their mothers. What's urgently needed from a producer standpoint is a, a practical way to be able to implement uh, these pain management strategies in a production system because typically we're dealing with large numbers of animals. Ideally, experts would like a medication that can be given to a sow, reaching her piglets via her milk a day later. The low dose in her milk should ease piglets' pain during common procedures such as castration or tail docking. We would be all about utilizing a product um, if, in fact, it showed that it, that it worked and was, was beneficial and useful. Uh, the cost component, while always to some degree a factor, if it's better for our pigs, um, we'd be fairly inclined to use it. Some veterinary clinics, the Atchison Animal Clinic in Kansas among them, have begun implementing the use of off-label pain medication with the more routine procedures on livestock. Whenever we're castrating cattle or dehorning, we're going to administer pain medication. Um, it's something that we feel very strongly about. Initially, we offered it as an option. Now we've kind of moved on to where uh, it's just something that we, we do. The consumer can see the value of that and, and feel good about the way that these practices are done and how these animals are raised. Very interesting. Good to see this kind of research being done.